Welcome to the show, Netsky. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> I'm great. I'm so happy to be chatting to you and so many exciting things going on for you at the moment. I'm loving the new track, Mixed Emotions. Let me know how the song came to life. Oh, yeah. Um, thanks, Cam. First of all, thanks for having me. And um, yeah, thanks for the nice words. Um, I, um, I, I'm super happy we're releasing this song. Um, it's, um, it's been in the making for quite a while. I remember actually the last time I, I was with Montel because it's obviously a song with Montel 29.9. And we, uh, we actually made an edit on the day of his show at Rhythm and Vines, uh, which was uh, New Year's Eve. Uh, last year and I remember just being in a hotel in Gisborne and um, we had about an hour to like make this edit into like something that we could play together and that we were happy with and that's basically where we like where we decided on the track structure and like I was I was gonna sound and we played it that night at Rhythm and Vines and the reaction was just amazing like people really really loved it um but yeah um Montel is like is is such a versatile like producer it's, it's been making so much amazing like music on different tempos but i think this is the first time he really uh, fully experiments with drum and bass and i'm really glad he, he, he played this this demo to me um that that came to be this song uh, because i really love the melody of it but and you know like after a couple of weeks we were super happy with that with result and um yeah i mean he's, he's such a such a nice guy he's such a great great producer and such a great guy to work with and and his whole team uh, Dan is manager as well. It's it's been a dream to work with him. Um, and yeah, now we have a video out, uh, which is basically a love letter to New Zealand, basically showcasing um, how beautiful your country is and and where where this this like track came from and like where the inspiration came from. Um, so yeah, we're we're very happy with this track. And the video is amazing. Like you've incorporated some Maori culture. You've also incorporated some of New Zealand's most iconic places. And I feel like mm. our country is pretty much a second home to you. You spend so much time here. Why is New Zealand such a special place for you? Yeah, I, I mean, I've been, I've been calling New Zealand a second home for for years now. I mean, um, I think uh, this this would would have been or would be my my eleventh, no, sorry, my tenth year. I would be coming to New Zealand, and um, there's some something that draws me back every year, man. Like, I, obviously, it's it's for me, it's the most beautiful place on earth um, by by far. Um, it's, it's got everything um, like yeah as, as every Kiwi knows it's it's just amazing that you can travel in one country and, and see like go go snowboarding one day and, and be by the beach the other day um, and and just see the most beautiful culture and, and nature around you with, with amazing forests and, and beautiful views and I mean the first time I went to Piha for example was just it took my breath away um, and, and spending all those amazing moments with, with just great friends uh, in New Zealand has, has just created so many amazing memories for me. Um, it's, uh, it's it's very dear to me. I'm so glad you love it here because it means we get so many incredible concerts from you. But one thing I was super interested to know, with the video, were was the footage all taken in trips that you have done here yourself or was it kind of filmed separately? No. So, yeah, as, as you can imagine, in 2020, you have to be quite creative to do a music <laughs> video. <laughs> so... So we got the help of an amazing team in, in New Zealand on the ground. That um, it's um, yeah, it's it's a combination of um, some drone footage that was done before, but most footage is, is uh, was filmed over the last couple of weeks. Um, with uh, oh, and, and I'm very sorry, but I forgot the name of the the choreographer. But um, there was an amazing dancer in the video um, who. Uh, yeah, it was just shot like two, three weeks ago, I think. Um, so it's, it's been a combination of all that. And then we, we reached out to a couple of friends because we really wanted to have like some, some real personal close-up shots. And um, yeah, we've, we've been lucky enough to like get some, some really cool uh, people that are close to us, like in the video to, to really, yeah, involve the Kiwis that we know and love uh, into this project. And um, I'm, I'm very happy with the result. The video is honestly so stunning. It's so beautiful. And I really think you've nailed it with, like, as I said, the, the balance between the culture and also, like, the geography. It's just, it's just such a good combination. Working, man. Oh, thanks. That, that means a lot. And your album, Second Nature, is coming out on the 30th of October. What can we expect from the album? 30th of October, I guess, for you guys, yeah, it's the 29th in some other countries. 30th of October for, uh, for New Zealand, I guess, yeah. Um, Second Nature. Um... Yeah, you you probably yeah you know very well that I, I come from a very kind of like drum and bass background and and that's where I all started. Um, and this this album um, really reflects on like going back, really reflects on um, where where it all started for me. Um, the the artwork for for the album is a 
there's a picture of me and my dad um, back in the days, like, oof, this is 12, no, what I'm saying, no, uh, 15, maybe 16 years ago, uh, on a holiday, on a trip to, to France. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just all about reconnecting with my roots, uh, quite literally in, 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 in many ways, because nature is a, is a, is a big part of, of this, this whole kind of story and like reconnecting with nature. Um, I'm just looking at the beautiful mountains of, of Bodrum right now as we speak. Um, and it's, it's just a year where, and, and I'm sure I'm not speaking for myself alone, but a lot of people in the music industry find time to um, reconnect with things that were quite hard to catch up with during a busy tour life. And um, I'm really glad that this whole album comes together out of like, um, yeah, just a very relaxed kind of atmosphere, very, um, it's, it was just time to reflect for me. And, I think you can hear it through the album. It's not. It's not particularly. I mean, there's a couple of songs that you could play at Rhythm and Vines on, on New Year's Eve on a big stage. But a lot of the songs are really just songs that you would listen to um, on a barbecue or like when you're out in nature, when you're out sporting or or um, running around. You know. Um, so it's 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 quite a different concept for me. But I'm, I'm I loved it. I love making it. And I think it's a really weird time for a lot of people, like in particular artists who have spent so long traveling from place to place, doing tour after tour, festival after festival. It must almost be like slightly refreshing to be able to stop down just for a moment and I guess reconnect with some of those things and those things that are important to you, but also spend time with the people who you love. Like, has that been quite a positive to come out of this extremely negative situation? Yeah, yeah. I, I think you, you hit the nail on the head. It's, um, and, and I'm sure it's the same for everybody in New Zealand during, um, during yeah, the, the, the quarantine uh, weeks ago as well. And, and right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, um, you know, it's, it, we've got to be honest about it. It, it. It's not always, like, easy to, like, completely switch your lifestyle around and, and, and just, like, completely change your life around and, and see all these, like, st things that you were looking forward to. In my case, uh, disappear and and try and um and try and adjust life to like something completely different from the last 10 to 12 years for me um but again i don't want to complain about this because it is such a first world problem and i i'm just patiently waiting this whole period out but yeah honestly it's it's been great to to sit down relax and and and, and be with with friends again um and sometimes just take your time on your own you know like just um um, be, be in isolation on your own, your own thoughts as well. Um, it's, it's been ages since I took the time to do that myself. And, um, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's a tough time for so many like small businesses. Um, I, I know that entertainment is, is going to be one of the last kind of like, um, sites of, of, of culture that's going to come back because of, um, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's nature and, and like all, all these people together. I mean, it's, it's going to take a little while for us to figure out how to do this safely, but, um, yeah, I'm just hoping for it to come back soon because I really, really miss it personally. Not even just being on, on, on the decks or being on stage. I miss being in the crowd as well. I, I miss moments like at Rhythm and Finds or at Glastonbury or anywhere in Europe at Tomorrowland. I, I miss just that, that extra sense, that extra, you know, that je ne sais quoi. You, you don't know what it is, but just being in the midst of people, seeing everybody jump and sing along to the same song and just feeling connected with people, you know, like that's that's something I really miss. It's um, that feeling so, of just yeah. everyone being there for the same reason and being completely in the moment and nobody's worried about what is happening outside of what is happening on that stage in that particular moment. It's, it's a wild feeling, but it's so good. 100%. And it's like, it's part escapism. It's part... Um, unity and uh, there's a lot of love you know like it's it's that overwhelming feel feeling of love um by, by people you've never met before which is something a lot of people just miss i'm sure right now so fingers crossed and i just hope we can get that feeling back soon man oh yeah 100 percent. i'm with you so much and on the album you have some <laughs> incredible collaborations uh you've got the likes of becky hill sub focus rudimental You've worked with some incredible people. Is there anyone who you haven't worked with on the album who you'd really love to w work with maybe on like the next project that you do? Honestly, like, like with my last albums, there was, there was features and, and collaborations that, that um, didn't go on in the end. So like we, we couldn't sign off uh, in time but there was some, some, some management stuff going on. With this album, everything I wanted is on the album. And, and that's something I'm so grateful for. And especially the Becky Hill track. Man, this this song is so so deep, and it's it's really about like how she and I felt like during lockdown, and and it, it was so 
timely it's um it's a beautiful song and like yeah I'm, I'm so glad all these songs all these collaborations got in the album because all these people are very close to me and, and i've known them for ages um i mean me and becky go back maybe eight to nine years and I've, we've never worked together so i'm so so glad we uh we finally got to do it and we both love the song I'm so excited to hear that song as well because I think like Becky just has one of the most incredible voices. Like anytime her voice comes on the radio, you always know that it's Becky Hill. She's so talented. One hundred percent, and and she she fits in so many like genres as well. She fits in so many styles. It's it's incredible. Um, she, she's so talented. So good. And you have been around the New Zealand festival circuit so many times. In your opinion, I would love to know what is the festival that Kiwis definitely should not miss this summer. <laughs> well, I mean, I just hope every one of them is just going on and like nothing gets cancelled. But I mean, <laughs> obviously, and 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 I've not just been saying this in New Zealand, but all over the world. I I think Rhythm and Vines is is a festival that um, anybody from Europe should travel to. You know, it's like it's one of those cultural events. It's not like a festival anymore. It's like seeing the sun come up in Gisborne on the first of January should be a bucket list item. You know, for everybody wherever you live. So one hundred percent for sure, R and B for me. And Gisborne gets the day before anywhere else in the world. So you're literally the first person in the world to experience the new year. Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, how magical is that? Like, it's it's the easiest sales pitch to, like, sell a holiday to somebody, for sure. 100%. Uh, I love asking everyone I talk to, who are, who's an upcoming artist that you're listening to at the moment that you think everybody needs to check out? Um, you know, in drum and bass... Um, I would say, I mean, they're not that young anymore, or like that like new to the scene, but I love Paula and Bryson. Um, Paula and Bryson have been making like all these bootlegs and great remixes of uh, of uh, a lot of like stuff in, in the drum bass scene. I've always loved their output and, and they're, they've got a really fresh sound now. Um, I, um, I love Urban Dawn. I mean, these people aren't just like, like newcomers, they, they've been in the scene a while, but like, I, I just love their sound and I think it's so fresh and, um, a lot of people like seem to be looking at that as like the new kind of the new sound in, in drum and bass. Um, yeah, for me, those those two are definitely yeah, great options. Sweet, I will definitely check them out. Next guy, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so much for catching up with me. And fingers crossed, we can have you back in New Zealand sometime in the not too distant future. <laughs> yes, Cam. Thank you so much for having me, man. Oh,